In this video, we attack the enemy and we build a shipyard to construct our Australian ship. Hello everybody, my name is Hoshi and you join me back inside of Brutal Mode. Now, in today's episode, we need to get on with the war. It's been four episodes we've been preparing for this and now it has to happen. Anyway, the general's coming through in the beautiful town of Felicity and there's one little thing I want to do. Oh, look at that, two trains. There's one little thing that I want to do here. Uh, we do have the money temporarily to do this and we'll go back to the road just after but I actually just remembered now we have three tracks here and we can do something which is really cool. The first track we can't do anything with because that's uh well we actually come to think of it we could do something with it. If it comes in this way along that track so we're driving on the right it would come in that way anyway and then we go into there that would work. Okay let's do some rejigging of these tracks here because I've just had a genius idea and that genius idea is um instead of having three tracks how about we just have two tracks and we could just operate an, a left and right, so it's one way. Because currently this is two way, and currently this is two way, and currently this is two way. So it just makes sense to have two tracks going uh, one way, because that's more efficient. Especially because the general's basically never here. So I think that's probably a good move to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let these trains get out of this block section, because otherwise they're going to cause problems when we start editing tracks. So you get out the, out of the way, trains. Look at that, those two flying by. Excellent. Um, but you're out of the way now. Let's go ahead and pause the game. Um, and then we can go back over here and we can start ripping some track up. So we get rid of this track. All of this can go. Not that though. <laughs> That's the station. We'll get rid of all this. Bring this track into that one. And then this track also needs to go into that one. Which is going to be some crossing over here. Which is not ideal. But it should work for the most part. I've plugged that in like that. This track here is going to go into that track just there. Perfect. I'd like to give a shout out to my favourite comment from the last video, which was from a random gentleman who says, I'm surprised that you don't have more views or subscribers. I also find it fitting for the war that you've bought the engine known as the General from the Buster Keaton film set in the US Civil War. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm glad you uh, you spotted that. Uh, and thanks for, thanks for your kind words as well. The General was actually trained in the US Civil War around the same time the Let's Play is taking place right about now. So I thought it would be a pretty cool in-joke seeing as though we have our own little, well you can call it a war, I think it's more like a battle. Um, but um, I thought it was like a, a bit of an in-joke. Uh, so well done you for spotting that. And if you guys want to be featured in the next video, make sure to leave me a comment. I read all of them so who knows, you might be featured in the next video. So one thing we actually missed in the previous episode, we were rushing so fast to get this new train on our network, we didn't actually find a place to house it. So let's go ahead and build something for it to live in right about now. Uh, I've got this depot here and let's plonk it down. I think probably the best spot is going to be here. Um, unless there's a better place, I don't think there would be. I'll just spin this around. Let's see, could it fit? I mean, it could fit there, right? But it's not the best spot, is it? really considering I would like to build something here so I'm not sure if that's a good choice I'm gonna put it here yeah I'm gonna put it down here I think it's just the best spot for it isn't it all right we'll get it as close as we possibly can then to there and we'll put that down there we go excellent we can put that track then into there but first let's make this go forward a little bit because what I need to do is I need to put some sidings into the uh, into the into the side here <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, sidings go in here because I need some storage space. As you can see, I'm, it might look like I have a lot, but actually a lot of this is just tracks that are leaving the yard. Um, you can't block those, so I don't have a lot of storage space. I have this, which is maybe like two, two, two or three trains left of storage space. Not a lot, really. Um, so we need, to, we need to go ahead and uh, make some more sidings. Okay, perfect. There are new sidings. Awesome. Whew, okay. You know what time it is, people. It's time we do this. So, I've got a plan in mind. In the previous episode, the bandits destroyed the bridge, okay? In this episode, we're gonna repair the bridge and we're gonna make a drop-off point and we're gonna set up camp right on the edge of this island and they're not gonna suspect a thing because we're far away enough to not be seen. That will, that's what we're gonna do. But first, let's take a look at our enemy because it looks like they've been doing some more building. And I could see this because last time they didn't have the wall complete. And I, I made, made a note actually, this area was actually available to attack. So we could have gone along the beach and over here. But you can see they've actually finished the wall now. Which isn't ideal, I'll admit. It's not great. It's not a good, a good thing for us. And they've also been building these guard towers. So they actually have watch over us as well, which is, is not ideal really. 
Uh, and I would have thought they've probably got some people enlisted to join the group from the town. So they're probably bigger numbers as well now, which is not ideal, really. Not ideal at all. But you can see we just did make a fair amount of money. Let's go spend it on some, uh, some bridge because we need to rebuild this, don't we? So let's clear up the mess here. So now that's nice and clean, let's go and plug this back in like that. We're now able to uh, come back over here. So let's go ahead and sort that out because that needs to happen. Let's go from our military base to, uh, to that stop there. We're going from uh, the military base. We're going to we're going to bypass Lao because they're just civilians at this point, and we're going to go to here, and then we're going to back it up. Okay, great, and they're going to unload here. That is some good stuff. Let's get going with that. Here, the train comes over the level crossing as our omnibus waits, and this train's going to pick up our awesome military soldiers. It's going to help out a lot, and we're going to get some uh, some ground back. Hopefully, all is yet to be decided. And I say that for a reason, so stay tuned to find out. Here comes our train, our D13, who's been repurposed about 10 times because it's the worst engine in our fleet and we just give it all the terrible jobs. But here it is, it's speeding along the track and it's going towards its drop-off point. We'll come back to the train a little bit later in the episode and see how our guys are setting up camp in the new area. Um, but what we need to do now is we need to take a look at some of our industries because we've been neglecting them. So, we don't have any trains. We do have horse and cart, but it might be expensive to build bridges. But what we did get in the previous video, uh, part of the Australian deal is we did get the blueprints for a sailing ship. So what I want to do in this video, I want to begin to construct the sailing ship. Now, we need to first of all choose our port. Now this is a very exciting moment because where are we going to build our port? I'm thinking maybe in West Hampton? Perhaps in Lumpkin over here? How is Lumpkin looking? Because, ooh, Lumpkin might be a good one because we have a timber. We have timber on Lumpkin. That's looking good. Okay, have we got anything better? Well, I don't think there's much better in West Hampton. It's pretty much a barren wasteland in terms of industries. We just have coffee. Uh, it's more of a residential area, this. So yes, we'll go with Lumpkin. Lumpkin is going to be the place to go. Everything's already here. We already have the timber and stuff. Perfect. Right, let's set that up. Um, where do we want to do this? We need a pretty flat area and it needs to be next to the sea. So let's have a think. We could do it over here. This would be a great spot for a shipyard. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I think it's probably going to be there then unless... Uh, we could do it over here, I suppose. But then I'm destroying the forest. That's where our wood comes from. Which is what makes the boats. So I can't really destroy that. So we've allocated this spot. Brilliant. But what we need to do is we need to start shipping goods. Because if there's, no if there's nothing to build out of, we're not going to build anything. Simple as, as that. Uh, so we need to start transporting some stuff over. Which means we need some vehicles. Which is fine. We have, you know, just, just a couple of, uh, of, of road vehicles here. That's fine. We can always make some more as well. Uh, so what we need to do. What we need to do is. What are you guys doing on here? You're, you're, I believe, going down here, aren't you? And dropping off. You are. So that's a simple case of yoink some off their supply line. And they've got plenty, to be fair. So if we make a new line. Wood to ship. And then let's make this a nice woody colour. We now need a drop-off point. So we'll get a small street. We'll bring it to nice and flat. And then we'll bring it to about... I'm thinking if we go like into there, that should be good. Okie dokie. And then we need a buildings drop-off point. Truck unload stop it's called even. And we'll get that just there. Perfect. And then they can just turn around at the end of the road. That's not a big issue. And you're dropping off there. That's fine. So, oh, that's the wrong button. Uh, so we'll go down to our wood to ship, add station. And then that's going to be the drop off. Perfect. How's that looking? That's looking pretty good. Okay, so all that's left to do, I believe, is to get some more vehicles. We've got a handy little spot here. Look at these. Going back to about episode two, it's giving me a right throwback here. Look at all these ants. Ant-like beings. Anyway, a couple more vehicles. So we'll get the... Ooh, which ones do we use? We use the Asian horse stones, of course. They're the only ones we've got. We'll get, let's say, um, I'll go with, I'll go with four, three. Yeah, I'll go with three. And we'll stick this onto wood to ship. 
and I think these guys should head straight there. Looks like we're not going to get stuck in a traffic jam this time. Brilliant stuff. We'll come back to this one later in the video and see how they're getting on because we can now eventually, probably at the end of this video, start producing our new ships, our new sailing boats, which is going to come in very handy, especially because we're pretty much on lots and lots of islands here. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Let's check up on our military side now and see how they're doing setting up in the new area. Wow, okay, so there's lots of people actually getting off the train and starting to build their little makeshift housing. You can see there's actually quite a few tents being put up here, which is, uh, it's a little concerning, but I don't think it's that bad, because if we look from their, like, side of the island, assuming they actually went through this gate of all the gates they could use, you could only barely see them, like, it's, uh, I mean, it's not great, but I don't think they're going to spot them. How's it looking? They can probably see that. Uh, I'm not sure if they saw that. Let's just hope they didn't. Let's just hope. Uh, but these guys, I'm pretty sure, are very strong at this point. We have to be very cautious. I'm going to give it just a few more minutes before we engage in the battle. Uh, because I am a little uncertain if we have enough units. Uh, because we are struggling a little bit in numbers. We do have about the same. So it should be an interesting one to see. Right then, and here is our shipyard. Look at this. This is looking beautiful. That's pretty much that solved then. We'll get to work constructing our ship, our tea clipper, and we will see how that goes. How many episodes that takes, I wonder? Not sure. But of course, it is episode number 20, so we need to go the next year. So let's set the date to go forward, and we'll see if we get anything new in the new year. Oh, oh! Wow, this is some interesting things. What is that, a steam car? And we have a new type of car as well for our, for our, our trains. Wow, okay, let's check it out. So over in our, in our road vehicles, first of all, we've got this thing. What is this thing? It's a French steam bus. That is interesting. Probably very expensive, because I have to ship those in. But... They might be alright, you know. They might not be a bad idea. I think, if they're any good, I might ship some in. Because I'm thinking, if they're steam, they might be a bit quicker. Because we've, steam, we've seen steam trains, they're quick. So maybe the steam cars are quick. Mm, good thought. So maybe we'll make a ship. We'll ship some of those steam buses in with our ship. And maybe we can get them to work on our main line, for buses at least. Uh, which is the uh, the Crossettes, Fancy Gap, West Hampton, Summerland route. We have quite a few buses going that way at the minute. Um, it's just kind of an alternative because we only have one train on this line, which is doing a brilliant job, but it is a little bit um, underwhelming in terms of capacity, and it is very expensive, which a lot of people can't afford. So to provide a slower option is great, uh, which actually reminds me, is it going to be a good idea to have this fancy new technology on this island where the whole point of the bus service is to keep prices low? Is that a good idea? I am not sure. Another thing is there's a lot of road traffic around here. So are the buses going to get slowed down by the road traffic? That's another great question. A lot to think about. Maybe you guys have some opinions on it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think on that. Uh, but let's finish up the video by checking out our military. Let's see how the guys are doing. There's a lot of guys over here, as you can see, there's quite a few. So, should we send them to attack? Where well, are we going to attack? Right, um, where shall we attack? I think, and I could be wrong, I think this side is still the most fortified. I think they've only just built this wall. So there's not going to be many people around here. So what happens if we send some guys, and we're going to click, because they're going to go across here, they'll, they'll, these guys are going to see them. So what if we send some guys... And we could try, I suppose, if we go through this forest, we could go through here and we're going to go and that one can see us and that one can kind of see us. But hopefully this one isn't paying attention. So we could actually scurry across here and then climb the wall and then we're inside and we can begin to take out some guards. Right, let's do it. Let's send them off as this train goes in. Let's send them off. Right, come on guys, off you get. We're going. Wakey, wakey, it's war time. Right. Here's the big question, the moment you've all been waiting for. I want you to leave me a comment. Yes, you. And let me know 
will we win this battle? It's up to you guys. Tell me in the comments, will we win or will we lose this battle? And I'm going to leave this one up to you guys completely. Am I going to win or am I going to lose? You guys tell me in the comments and all will be revealed in the next episode. It's simply a case of the majority vote. So make sure to leave your comment. Otherwise, the other side may win what you don't want to happen. So make sure to let me know. I will definitely see you in the next episode, which is the final episode of our military campaign before we get back to the normal sort of industrial stuff, which we'll be doing plenty of. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but if you do like this content, feel free to press the subscribe button. It does help me out a lot. And if you've been watching the series a while and you're feeling extra generous, I also have a Patreon, which is relatively cheap. So if you guys want to support me, you can by all means do that. Uh, but thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.